Hey guys, Brian with VetSource checking in with you today uh, on a December late afternoon with another one of our parts field find or project cars from my buddy's field find and broken dreams collection. Uh, there's a link to that video up at the top of the screen there that I did a few months back on the whole collection. This one I'm featuring today uh, or this time is going to be a 1936 Packard Business Coupe 115 sedan. So this would have been a six cylinder coupe from the factory. Uh, looking at it, you can see she's pretty rough. Um, you know, it's interesting, this feature here, maybe some of the guys can comment on this and let me know. I, I see a lot of this wrinkling of the sheet metal back on these pre-war cars, on the coupes. I'm wondering if that's just a stress point where they flex over the years with time and the body becomes weak right there. But if anybody has any knowledge of why those do that, because I've seen it on the 38 Plymouth that I also featured, that video is linked at the top there. Uh, on these cars, especially like I said these business coupes with this roof. I wonder if that's just a stress point for these back in the day, but um, This one here had already been worked on been worked on before um, I think it's got a it's got a Camaro column in it I think it has a Mustang front end Mustang 2 I think is what they put in there the hood side panels are in here still uh, the doors are on it uh, all the woods gone inside uh, there's no wood structure left in here. Bottom of the doors, I can see corrosion over there. Floorboard's pretty rotten on that side. Um, this one does still have the data plate. Give me a second, I'll show it to you guys. There's the back end. Um, she is rough, I'm not going to lie. There is a differential underneath here too. I just can't remember what it's out of. The actual hood is still on it. There's your, uh, yeah, that, I think that's a Mustang. I don't know, that might... It might be GM. Looks like they grafted it into the front. They did a fairly good job. There's your Packard. I'm so I can get over here better. Your Packard motor division tag. I always thought those were cool on these Packards. Uh, I-088-2825. I'm pretty sure that's the body number. I-088 designates it as a 115 if I'm remembering my Packard lore. And of course there's the body number up there. Um, so it's still intact, but you know, corrosion, yes. Incomplete, yes. The grill's in it though, the horseshoe, the blades are here still, so there are some good Packard pieces on this. Um, fenders are there, this one's torn quite a bit, but there are some, you know, I think for the master metal guy, there's some usable odds and ends. Firewall, honestly, is pretty intact on this car. They really cut it right there for the steering column. Uh, but I'm seeing some corrosion in that corner where the body mounts so yeah I mean it's it's crusty rusty and old but that's the typical thing I think they talk about that on pickers <clears throat> love that show by the way so yeah this one is available for sale if you got an interest just give me a call back uh, my number is 832-654-7367 my name is Brian with VetSource if you got any questions you can give me a ring or leave them in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video.